This is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about another product from Athentech called Lucid. Now, I've re reviewed uh, Perfectly Clear before, and that's a product geared to professionals, and this is a standalone product that's a little bit lighter weight, just a little simpler. Uh, no support for raw files or anything like that. So let's get started. Um, just as a heads up, this is a you know, 2010 system running on OS X Yosemite. Uh, works on Windows as well, and um, you know, don't need a super fast system um, to use it. So I'm going to open up a zoo shot here. And first thing you know, if I actually let's go ahead and maximize this. Um, fill the screen here a little bit. If I do my before and after slider, you'll see with no work whatsoever, I've got a significantly better image here. This is really what this product's great at, is that I've literally done nothing but load um, the image, and I've got a great uh, result. Now, for an image like this, one of the things that I'll need to do is crop. Make it a little bit more interesting. Right, so we'll see, we'll do something like this. Line this guy up a little closer to his eye. Do something kind of like, kind of like that. Personal preference. And by crop. And so, um, you know, I've basically I'm done with this image. I can sort of look around and see what some of the other presets offer. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, if I thought, you know, hey, maybe it's a little bit too white for me in here and stuff, you know, I could come in and lower the exposure a little bit. Um, and, you know, again, you can always go see the before and after. It's, it's really great results that don't require any effort. Now, there are some, you know, portrait enhancement options that get turned on. I can turn these off to see, um, you know, if that makes any difference. But, you know, a lot of times um, that's fine. I wish they did have an option just to sort of click here or something that would turn the whole section off. Um, sadly, they don't have that. So, you know, kind of be mindful of that. You may want to experiment, make sure that um, these aren't doing anything weird to your image that you may not be happy with. Um, but overall, you know, really simple stuff. So now let's open up some flowers. And one thing I'd like you to notice is that because this is a standalone application, that keeps both files open and there's a little um, option here to go back and forth between the two. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's easy to actually open up too many files um, by doing that as well. There is an option to just close all uh, or save all as well. So with that, let's go ahead and um, let's do a landscape on this one. And again, you can see before and after. So I really like um, that you know, really with minimal effort, I can get really great results. Uh, I can also click back and forth, you know, just to click on the image to see the before and after. Um, you know, basically done. Uh, if I wanted to come in and, you know, warm it up or anything like that, I could, you know, uh, work with the tent. Um, I can, you know, make it a little bit more vibrant. Um, but, you know, overall, just, this is really a one-click editing solution. Um, so let's go ahead and close these files out, as I mentioned previously. You can drag and drop photos in, or you can um, just click there. Also use the file menu. So now, again, another one. The way I use this product is that I'll come in and just experiment the presets and see which ones I like. And if it does something I don't like, then I'll go to the adjustments panel. And you'll notice that you know, at first the details uh, option seems pretty good. Um, and I actually like this, but uh, for some people that may be a little too uh, um, unrealistic green. And so if you go to the landscape, op landscape option, you'll notice that you know, it's, it's a, uh, it brightens it up, but not quite as um, uh, fake, I guess, as the details option. So a little bit more true to life. And again, you know, you have options in here where you could amp up um, a little bit more. You can, you know, uh, there's noise. You can reduce the, 
the noise, uh, do tent correction, and so um, it's pretty pretty simple stuff. So let's go ahead and open another one. Now, one of the things it really does good uh, a good job with is with really dark um, files. So this is a cathedral that has you know really dark ceiling and stuff. If I click before, you know, it's 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 kind of dark. And then if I come in here and say fix dark, it really you know brightens it up and brings in the details here. Um, you know, this area was lost, and yeah, you know, there's if you're an advanced user, you, you know you know how to fix these things. But for a lot of people, this is this is a big deal. Uh, it's just one click, you know, figure these things out and 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 bring that uh, you know, those those changes back to life. Um, Now, one thing I want to point out is that in the process of doing this um, enhancement, it didn't, um, it fixed the dark areas, but it didn't um, add more brightness overall because you see the, the detail in these uh, windows didn't get worse. Like if it would have done just a global exposure uh, enhancement, these windows would have blown out even more and you wouldn't see any details in there. And so um, basically it's, it's working on the shadows instead of, um, you know, having any impact on the overall uh, image and highlights. Um, you also notice that with this particular preset, it also does um, a little noise correction as well. And you can go dial in more or less, and that's just to get rid of the little digital noise or dots um, that you see uh, at higher ISOs. So let's go ahead and close these up. Now let's work with people. This is another area where this product just really, really shines. So we'll take um, you know, various levels of difficulty images. So let's take this first one here. And we're going to start with details. And if I look at the before, you know, it's a pretty good image. Um, but, you know, this is, um, you know, kind of typical. Let me go ahead and do it this way. You can see that um, you know there's some skin, um, you know blemishes, you know aging uh, signs and so on that by default get really you know, fixed up with no problem. Um, now this is the detail option for people. I generally like to use the beautify option. Um, it's a little uh, does a little bit better job, um, and this is again personal preference. If you felt like you know hey. Some of these things were you know, too little, too intense, you know, like skin tone. I don't like the way it changed the skin tone. Uh, you can turn those off, and actually, that's one that I'm not a big fan of. Um, but you know, you can you can adjust it and experiment, you know, with uh, whatever to suit your taste. Um, but you know, you can try to get the look that you know it's just the right amount of enhancements for you. Now, um, if you want to go more extreme, you know, you want to try to get rid of these um, you know dark circles under the eyes, which is common for a lot of people. Um, you can click be beautify and so it actually did a couple things. The first thing it did was it fixed the dark circles and it also enhanced the uh, eyes and the face contouring. So like watch when I turn this off. See this is a normal face and it did actually a little digital diet to make the face a little more slim and it did that all automatically. Um, you know it does eye enhancement you know make them a little you know a little bit more uh, sharp and um, noticeable, you know, eye, a little eye whitening and so on. Um, and then, you know, you can turn the dark circles on and off. Uh, so pretty cool result, uh, again, with just one click. So let's close that and let's take one a little more extreme. So I guess, you know, some people give me a hard time when I show uh, that I'm editing uh, people's faces that, um, they say, oh, well, that person, you know, was, was perfect to begin with, so there really, you know, was nothing to fix. And so um, this is a shot, you know, taken in, you know, on a, a kind of a dark day uh, at the zoo, you know, no makeup on. This is just, you know, all natural. And, you know, um, my wife's a pretty lady, but, you know, anybody without makeup, they're going to have a few skin blemishes. And so that's the case here. Um, but notice, I scroll over. And with the default details, you know, she looks gorgeous. Um, you know, corrections made and everything. So I click beautify, 
and it kind of takes that then kind of over uh, overly bright effect that I, we got with details. So I, I definitely prefer these for, for people. And then if I do uh, Beautify Plus, you'll notice the bags under the eyes went away and there's some uh, contouring on the face. Again, we'll look at that again. Kind of brings it in and you know, the eyes definitely get enhanced. So you know, really great results uh, with no effort. And for the last one here, now this is a really pretty model. Uh, let's go and go beautify. And you know she's got great teeth and everything. And so um, if I look at the before and after, there's still a lot of enhancements made. But this is this takes a, a good shot and makes it great with really you know no no hassle at all. Yeah, and if I kind of zoom in on her face, I notice that before there's like this uh, um, blemish on her uh, pimple or whatever on her chin, um, and there's some you know a little bit of uh, you know blemishes on her forehead. You know these go away. This is here still just a little tiny bit, but you don't see it, and and it's not really that big of a deal. If you really cared about it and you had some other product, you could um, do a blemish correction. There is no blemish correction beyond what it gives you by default. Um, and so, I mean, you can, you know, be a little bit more intense here with this, kind of, kind of crank that up and you can, you know, kind of crank up the smoothness. Um, but you know, that has other impacts, like it make her, makes her nose go away. And so, um, that's like a little too much for me. It's a, what I call too wax figure looking. Um, and if you don't like the default, you know, settings, you can, you know, kind of dial it down, um, uh, to suit your preference. Uh, but if I just go here to the... Um, you know, beautify plus. It'll do like a little uh, face slendering, and you know, it does teeth whitening. Now she has pretty white teeth, so doesn't really need it. So you could just come in and turn that off, um, and give her teeth you know more of a normal color again. And so you know, really fantastic results. I think um, you know, with just not really any you know, significant effort. So really like this product. Um, you know, designed well for. Uh, simple, clean, you know, fast user interface, and you know, perfect for beginners. So uh, check it out. There's also an iOS version that uh, I mentioned on my um, website, and there's a discount on the blog. So be sure to check it all out. Thanks.